Hi, this is a demonstration video on how to replace the lanyard in the Perfect Descent Model 210. I highly recommend watching this video at least once in its entirety before attempting this changeout. To perform this changeout, you will need a pair of flat jawed locking pliers, a Phillips head screwdriver with a minimum of a 3 inch shaft, a 532nd inch Allen wrench, a hammer, and duct tape or packing tape. Step 1. Remove the perfect descent from the climbing wall and either hang it from a comfortable working height or lay it on a flat surface with the face labeled down. If you lay it down, make sure you place a soft material beneath it to protect the unit. You will also need to either tie the handle to a fixed location or have someone hold the unit for you during line extraction. Step 2. Remove the Phillips head screw located near the line nozzle. Step 3. Pull the lanyard out a couple of feet and secure it or have someone hold it for you. Lightly tap on the upper side of the nozzle to remove it from the housing. Pull the nozzle from the housing without twisting it. It is important that the nozzle and line are not twisted during line extraction. Extract all of the line until the field replaceable hardware and approximately three inches of blue webbing are outside of the housing. Step four, secure the line by inserting the carabiner on the end of the old lanyard in between the two layers of blue webbing. The carabiner will prevent the joint from returning into the housing during line replacement. Release the webbing, making certain that the line is adequately secured and that the carabiner will not slip loose or rotate. It is important that the webbing maintains its vertical orientation to prevent twisting. To prevent this, place some duct tape across the carabiner and housing nose. Do not allow the line to escape into the housing. If this happens, it will require factory servicing. Step 5. Using a 532nd inch Allen wrench and a pair of flat jawed locking pliers, remove the webbing joint bolt. Step 6. Remove and discard bolt, non-threaded dowel pin, and detached line with carabiner keeping only the threaded dowel pin for reassembly of the new replacement lanyard. Do not use any of the old hardware except for the threaded dowel pin. Step 7. Using the Allen wrench, secure the new replacement line to the blue webbing by running the bolt through the hole in the blue webbing and into the threaded dowel pin. Step 8. While tightening the bolt, ensure that the two dowel pins and the blue webbing loops remain parallel by using the flat jawed locking pliers. Step 9. Tie a knot loop approximately 12 inches down on the new replacement line. Grasp the line and pull it toward the knot loop behind the nozzle. Ensure the webbing has not twisted between the nozzle and the carabiner that secures the webbing. Check that the webbing is still vertical and has not rotated during line replacement. If so, reorient the webbing to its original position. Step 10. With the nozzle slot oriented vertically and no twists in the line, apply tension to the nozzle and knot loop while removing the duct tape and carabiner that secured the webbing. Feed the line back into the housing until the nozzle and knot loop are against the housing. Press the nozzle into the housing so that the nozzle slot remains vertical. You may need to tap on the end of the nozzle to seat it into the housing. Step 11. 
Ensure the nozzle screw hole is aligned with the housing screw hole. If the screw holes are not aligned, you may need to use a pair of pliers to slightly twist the nozzle to align the holes. Again, make sure the webbing has not twisted as the nozzle is installed. Step 12. Install the sheet metal screw through the housing screw hole and into the nozzle screw hole. Tighten the screw until snug. Avoid over tightening as you may strip the threads of the nozzle. Step 13. Extract the line and untie the knot loop. A second pair of hands may be required to help secure the webbing. Return the new line into the housing slowly in a controlled manner while maintaining a secure grip on the line. As you allow the line to retract, pull down sharply every three feet to help the lanyard seat properly in the unit. Step 14. Inspect prior to use by extracting all of the line and returning it once again to the housing. Check for smooth operation and proper line retraction.